The year is 2018, and we're halfway through Trump's presidency. Living in Trump's America was a tax break paradise for some and hell on earth for others. Everything felt polarized. Some felt empowered to openly use racist rhetoric, while activists were taken to the street to protest against racial injustice. No matter which side you fell on, one thing was for sure. People were talking about race in a way that hadn't previously been so openly talked about in popular culture. This political climate and open conversation about race may have been the inspiration and the motivation for Jackie Sibyl's Drury's play, Fairview, written in 2018. In 2014, four years before Fairview was written, the murder of Trayvon Martin by a police officer sparked outrage and led to the formation of Black Lives Matter, an organization whose mission is working inside and outside of the system to heal the past, reimagine the present, and invest in the future of Black lives through policy change, investment in our communities, and a commitment to arts and culture. By 2018, the BLM movement was gaining momentum and news coverage. Police brutality and racial injustice was the topic of political conversation. However, Black Lives Matter also attracted backlash, including from the future President Trump and other political figures. In July 2016, on Fox News' The O'Reilly Factor, Trump, who was then running for office, said, I've seen them marching down the street, essentially calling death to the police, and I think we're going to have to look into that. This looking into the affairs of BLM is exactly the surveillance that Sybil Scruri alludes to in her work. This feeling of being watched while black, that being black itself is a crime that needs to be watched over. As white Republicans watched on while protesters took to the streets, their own implicit biases were projected onto the protesters, just as the white folks in Fairview projected their biases onto the black family. Whether you viewed the BLM protesters as brave activists to be praised or dangerous criminals to be feared, depending on your own personal biases, political views, race, and positionality, as well as the media you consumed. Our production of Fairview is set in 1963, during an era known as the Civil Rights Movement. The Civil Rights Movement was an activist movement dedicated to abolishing segregation laws and giving Black Americans equal rights. History.com states that arguably one of the most famous events of the Civil Rights Movement took place on August 28, 1963, the March on Washington. It was organized and attended by civil rights leaders such as Philip A. Randolph, Bayard Rustin, and Martin Luther King Jr. And in 1964, one year after our production of the play is taking place, Lyndon B. Johnson signed the Civil Rights Act of 1964 into law. In conclusion, both 1963 and 2018 were times of political revolution and civil unrest regarding racism and the way black people were treated in the U.S. Jackie Sibyl's Drury dives deeper into this conversation about racism in her 2018 play, Fairview.